Okay, today we're going to make peanut butter fudge. The ingredients are one stick of butter and a third of a stick, which is two and a half tablespoons. Then we have three cups of sugar. We're gonna use two thirds cup of evaporated milk, cup and a half of peanut butter, and one seven ounce container a marshmallow cream, any kind, it doesn't really matter. But we're not gonna put the marshmallow cream and the peanut butter in until later. Right now we're gonna add the butter. The sugar, which is three cups of sugar and two-third cups of milk. Okay, now that we have it on the stove, we're gonna turn the fire on medium heat, and we're going to melt our butter and our sugar in the pot. Now that the butter and the sugar is all melted, and it's real creamy. We're gonna leave it cook until it starts to boil. When it starts to boil, we're gonna put our timer on for four minutes, and after four minutes, then we'll take it off. Okay, the fudge is just about there. You wanna make sure that it's boiling really good all the way through. We're gonna put our timer on for four minutes. Okay, our candy has been cooking for three and a half minutes. We're almost there. One more half minute and we're gonna turn off the fire. You have to add your vanilla, so I always put my vanilla in the marshmallow cream. This is some homemade vanilla that I made. And you add about a teaspoon of vanilla. And if you put it there, you won't forget it. Looking good, almost there. Okay, we're gonna turn the timer off. And we're gonna turn our fire off. And we're gonna add our marshmallow cream. With our vanilla sitting on top, so we didn't forget to add the vanilla. And then we have one and a half cups of peanut butter. We're gonna add into our mixture. This you have to blend up real well together. Make sure all the lumps are out. Okay, now that we have all our lumps out, we're gonna bring it over to the counter and we can put it in our muffin cups. Okay, now that our fudge is all nice and blended, we're gonna add them to our cupcake cups. I have this little scooper, it works perfect. I put two scoops in the big cupcake cups and in the small cupcake cups, I'll put one scoop. Bite size. Okay, this is the peanut butter fudge. We have it individually servings in the little muffin pans. They have the small ones and they have the bigger ones. This makes it a lot easier than pouring it in a big pan and cutting it up. You don't have all the crumbs left over. And it just has to set and it'll be ready to go. Hope you enjoy.